I'm going to back away slowly from the camera. Oh, Lord. Bye. Chris Tomer somehow bringing normalcy to the broadcast hey, now. I know what I'm talking about right here. Oh, Thursday, we always go for a hike with Chris Tomer. That's right, the Tomer's Trails. And uh, so I have a lot of memories of Steamboat over the years, but this was the first time I've been there during the fall season. And now I see why the locals love it so much. I've been living in Steamboat for 34 years in August. Steamboat is well known for its champagne powder, but the fall season is just as good and offers a totally different complexion. There's fall color sprinkled throughout Colorado, but if you want some of the best, head to Steamboat. It's the kind of fall color that draws people in, sometimes for life like Larry Pierce. Fall in Steamboat is pretty awesome. I love it here in the fall. When we visited, the colors were just starting to pop and it has only gotten better. Larry is the official photographer for the ski area. His photos tell the story. Well, if I was given directions for fall colors, the first thing I'd say is if you're coming over Rabbit Ears Pass, that's one of the nice areas up by Lake Dumont. Very pretty in the fall. Uh, and then if you get down into the valley, there's two awesome places to go. You can either go south to the flat tops, which really is incredible, or you can go a little bit north and go up Buffalo Pass, where the, uh, the fall colors are just incredible. Another place you don't want to miss is Steamboat Lake. Two friends, John Kodrowski and Lacey Romano, joined me for a trip up there for a trail run around the lake. My grandpa, growing up, he used to come up here a lot with his boat and fish, so I've been here as a child, and then I've probably been here twice as an adult. Steamboat Lake is about 45 minutes north of Steamboat, and it's surrounded by large pockets of aspen and the kind of old classic barns that Steamboat is known for. I imagine that's going to get really vibrant if you look around the hillsides are all covered in aspen. If you come to Steamboat, you've got to take the gondola up and do uh, several hikes that are up on top of the ski mountain. The fall colors are really incredible up there. We followed Larry's advice and made a quick run up Steamboat Ski Mountain. It's a beautiful place, lined with colorful wildflowers and sweeping panoramas. Yeah, you can still see some of the wildflowers. Uh, some, some flowers bloom late, and that's probably because of the moisture we've been getting this fall. And the best fall color is still yet to come. Generally, we have uh, two to three weeks of peak fall colors. End of September, first week of October. So go see another side of Steamboat, one that's warmer, snow-free, and one that draws people in, sometimes for life. And the lottery has put a ton of money up there into the Steamboat area in Route County, including the Steamboat Lake area where they put $2 million in alone and almost $50 million in general. So the place is beautiful and well-maintained. It'll be a great place to go up and see the Skeleton Twins. Yeah, that's right. It's almost